If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notifications bell. That way you know when I post all my Nerd Guy News content. Welcome to Nerd Guy News, where all nerds collide. What's up everybody, Nerd Logic here, and welcome back to another episode of Nerd Guy News. Man, we have got to talk about The Mandalorian and why I believe Din Djarin will remove his helmet by the end of this season. So, Din Djarin, he has been the main character since season one, season two, and it's a little questionable right now on if he's really the main character, considering season three has been a little bit all over the place. But one thing we know about Din is that he is very loyal to his people. He is very loyal to his culture, and he believes in the way that you do not remove your helmet as far as his creed and his motto and his covert goes they do not remove their helmet now as we all know Din, as a child he was saved during the purge by death watch and most of death watch was clan Vizsla. and during the clone wars we seen you know pre Vizsla remove his helmet we've seen other members of death watch remove their helmet but for some reason particular reason this group does not remove their helmets why is that that still has to be answered there's still a lot of questions den is still a very mysterious character and so is the armorer so is other people in the mandalorian universe but my point is here is that den has removed his helmet okay he has uh gone through redemption and he has gained his credibility back he has gained his 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 inner spirits back and he follows the armorer as a spiritual guidance she has been guiding his group or his factions of mandalorians since he was basically a child because den is indeed a foundling and i believe that den is by the end of season three i honestly believe that den is going to remove his helmet again and the reason being why i say that is because he has followed the armorer since season one again she has been his guidance has been his voice of reason has been his you know his his counselor if you will on how to be a mandalorian and we still don't know too much about the armor she's also a very mysterious person which i will cover all of that on another video later on but the armor is he's he's his uh the armor is basically den's mentor and she has taught him that their covert or their group of mandalorians are not meant to remove their helmets it's against their creed it's against their culture at least that's what den has been taught until he meets lady bo katan now when he meets Bo for the first time, we all know she takes off her helmet and he does not believe that they are true Mandalorians when they really are. Bo-Katan, Kashka Reeves, and Axe Wolves are true Mandalorians. And then believes that they're not following the proper way because as a child, again, he has been taught that you should not remove your helmet, that it is a disgrace and it will make you an apostate to your people well this is going to eventually end with din just because of the simple fact that we all know what happens with Bo. we know how she came uh, upon the dark saber how she lost the dark saber how she regains the dark saber and the fact that she is now leading her people her mandalorian people to mandalore to reform and to reunite and to basically repopulate mandalore to take back over mandalore and rule over mandalore and i believe den will have a change of heart about wearing his helmet and the reason being is because the armor seems very very fishy she seems very suspect and i feel that again this is something that i will cover later on on another video but i don't believe she is truly honest to her creed of wearing the helmet i think it's all really a cover-up to really honestly cover up her true identity and who she truly is now 
this is going to have conflict within Din where he's going to have a change of heart and he's going to follow Lady bo because as we already know in this last previous episode of The Spies, he basically took loyalty to bo forever until that time has come, until her song is written, quote unquote. So I feel that Din will remove his helmet by the end of this season. Um, or something will happen to him and he will remove his helmet, which we still do not know. But I do believe that he will follow Bo-Katan if he does survive this last uh, season finale. And he will remove his helmet and he will join not only Din, but all of the covert really will actually join Bo-Katan and the proper way of really being a new Mandalorian. Um, and I really believe Din is going to be satisfied with this after the truth is basically discovered in this season finale well guys i guess that's it for this episode if you like what you saw hit that subscribe button hit that like button and don't forget to smash that notifications bell that way you know when i upload my videos to youtube stay tuned for my next video as i discuss who are the spies in last week's episode before wednesday this is the way, may the force be with you.